Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven, part A from the January 2024 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P4 paper. This question here is about integration by substitution. And in this question, we are told to use the substitution u equals 4x plus 2 times 2 sine 2x or otherwise. Okay, show that the integral of this expression is going to be given by 1 over 8 e to the power of 2 pi minus 1. Okay, so now here we have a expression which obviously it looks like it cannot be done by or cannot be solved by using um, anything like reversing the chain or anything like that. So we're going to use the substitution which they suggested that we use. Now, when we have integration by substitution, okay, we have to integrate whatever's inside this integral with respect to x in this case, but with introducing another um, like a variable u. So what I do first is I define my, what my, I call it y, the function that I'm into, in integrating. So I have e to the power of 4x plus 2 sine of 2x times the cosine squared of x that's y that's why i'm integrating and i'm using the substitution 4x u equals 4x plus 2 sine of 2x you'll notice that is the power of the e here so we're gonna we, our objective is to integrate y with respect to x okay with the limits of x between 0 and pi over 2 now what we're going to do is we're going to do this by way of integrating y dx du du and we're going to have limits u1 and u2 which are determined by what u is when x is those values. So we can do that first. We can say u1 is going to be 4 times what's in place of u1 at pi over 2. So 4 times pi over 2 plus 2 times sine of 2 times pi over 2 which is sine of pi now sine of pi is 0 so this is going to give you 4 pi over 2 which is 2 pi so that's going to be the upper limit okay that's u1 and u2 is going to be 4 times 0 when x is 0 plus 2 times sine of 0 that's going to give you 0 so our limits are going to be from 0 to 2 pi our y is exactly what we've got written all of this okay so you're gonna have e to the power of u and then you're gonna have cosine squared x okay now for now I'm going to write it as cosine squared x and I'm going to modify it so that in the, in the end we're gonna have to have just everything in terms of u here no x is in here I need to find what dx du is now we know u is equal to 4x plus 2 times sine of 2x. I can find du dx very easily and dx du would be reciprocal. So the differential of 4x is 4. If you differentiate sine 2x or 2 sine 2x, you're going to get 2 cosine 2x. But then you have to multiply by 2 because of the chain rule. So you end up with plus 4 cosine of 2x. All right. So that's going to be the same as 4 times 1 plus cosine of 2x that might make life easier for us that's du dx that means dx du is which is what we need is 1 over that 1 over 4 times 1 plus cosine of 2x so I'm going to put times so this is this is the y part which we haven't quite finished with and dx du at the moment I'm going to write it like this which is 1 over 4 times 1 plus cosine of 2x and now I've got my du. Now I can't do anything with this until we've changed the x's into u's. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take out this 1 quarter. I'm going to take out this 1 quarter. I have integrals between 0 and 2 pi. I have e to the power of u. Now what I can do, this is like going to be over at the moment it's 1 plus cosine of 2x now the cosine squared x let's think of a way to deal with the cosine squared x 
Now I know that that's equal to 2 cosine, um, no, I know that cosine of 2x is equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Now if I can replace a cosine squared x with 1 plus cosine of 2x divided by 2 by using the double angle formula then that might help so I'm going to replace the cosine squared x here with 1 plus cosine 2x divided by 2 so I'll put the 2 down here right now what's going to happen is and this is um, du that's already up that's already basically down here so we'll end up with 1 over 8 between 0 and 2 pi this cancels out I've taken the 2 out here the integral of e to the power of u with respect to u so it becomes something really easy how do you integrate e to the power of u well it stays the same so this is going to be equal to 1 over 8 times e to the power of u between the limits of 2 pi and 0 it doesn't change when you integrate e to the power of something it stays the same and there's you know the, the, the if you divide by the differential of u it's going to give you 1 because we're doing it with respect to u so now that should give us our answer hopefully so you have 1 over 8 times e to the power of 2 pi minus e to the power of 0 remember e to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so you have 1 over 8 times e to the power of 2 pi minus 1 and is that what we had to show yes it is okay so the using the double angle formula for cosine caused these two cancel out and you have your nice easy integral and there's the answer to that question all right so the integral of this is equal to 1 over 8 e minus e to the power of 2 pi minus 1 um, now the next part of the question is to do with volumes of revolution using this result so I'm going to take that as a separate video because it's kind of like separate in a way and I will um, you know you'll find that video at the end of this um, at the end of this in the playlist that will be appearing at the top of the screen over here um, that will be the playlist for this paper you also have here a playlist which is dealing with integration and this one in spe uh, specifically integration by substitution you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon